Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Over a year ago, I did a tutorial on an earlier version of Photoshop showing how to put a face and name onto paper money. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to do it quicker and better. I provided a Photoshop file for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. It includes this $10,000 bill template and a channel in which you can use to place your engraved portrait into. As before, I'll use Zach Galifianakis in the place of honor. Open a photo of someone you'd like to place into the bill. It can be color or black and white. If your photo is in color, desaturate it by pressing Control shift u on a PC or Command shift u on a Mac. We need to make a selection around the head and shoulders so we can cut it out from its background. I covered how to do this in many of my tutorials, so choose the method that's the easiest and most effective for you. Once you make the selection, press Ctrl-J on a PC or Command-J on a Mac to cut and copy it from the background and place it on its own layer. Type in the name of the person and click on your New Layer button to make a new layer. We'll fill it with white and since white is the background color, press Control delete on a PC or Command delete on a Mac. Click on your foreground color and type in 50% for the brightness. Then click OK. Now your foreground color is 50% gray. To fill the layer with the foreground color, press Alt delete on a PC or Option delete on a Mac. We'll make the foreground and background colors default to black and white respectively by clicking on this overlapping box icon or by pressing D on your keyboard. At the top, go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open your sketch folder and choose Halftone Pattern. Make the size 1, the contrast 50, and the pattern type Line then click OK. Go back to Filter, Distort, and Wave. Make the number of generators 1, the wavelength 159 and 160, the amplitude 20 and 48, the scale 100%, the type Sign, and repeat edge pixels for the undefined areas. Control click or command click on the thumbnail of the person to make a selection of its shape. Click on your layer mask button to make a layer mask next to the active layer. Click on the thumbnail of the wavy lines and change its blend mode to overlay. Make a copy of the layer by pressing control or command J. Click off the chain links of both layers. This allows us to move or resize the wavy lines and the layer masks independently of the other. Hide the original wavy line layer and press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Go to a corner and when you see a double curved arrow, press and hold Shift as you rotate the transform 90 degrees. Press Ctrl or Command 0 to see the entire transform on your screen. To expand it past the shoulders, go to a corner, and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC, or Shift and Option on a Mac, and drag it out. Then press Enter or Return. Make the layer visible and active. Hide the top layer. To make the wavy lines cover the bottom of the body, open your Transform tool again, and drag it out. Then press Enter or Return. Make the top layer visible and fit the document onto your screen. Click off the eyeball of the white background to hide it. Make a composite snapshot of your image and place it on its own layer. To do this, first make the top layer active and then press Control shift alt e on a PC or Command-Shift-Option-E on a Mac. 
With your Move tool, drag it to the tab of the Money template. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and then release. Open your Channels panel and control click or command click on the inner frame thumbnail to make it into a selection. Open back up your Layers panel and click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask next to the portrait. Click off the chain link and make the head active. To reduce its size, open your Transform tool and fit it onto your screen. Reduce it to a size you like. To reposition it, click inside the Transform and move it. Continue to resize and position it until you're happy. Then press Enter or Return. Next, we'll colorize the head so it matches the rest of the bill. Fit it onto your screen and click on the Adjustment Layer button. Choose Hue Saturation. Click on the Clip to Layer icon. This restricts the adjustment layer to affect only the one layer beneath it. Check Colorize and make the Hue 95 the saturation 8 and the lightness minus 3. The last steps will be to add the name onto the bottom banner. Press Z to open your zoom tool and drag across the banner to zoom into it. To reposition the image, press and hold the space bar as you move it. Open your horizontal type tool and choose a font. I'm using Legal Tender. You can download it from the link I provided in the video's description or project files. If you're not sure how to install fonts, watch my tutorial on how to do this. I provided that link as well. Make the size 11 points, smooth, center alignment, and black for the color. Click below the center of the banner and type in a name. Click on the Text Warp button. Make the style Arc, Horizontal, and the Bend 25%. Then click OK. Click on your Move tool and go to View and make sure Snap is not checked. If it is, simply click on it. Center your text on the banner, reduce its opacity to 85%, and fit it back onto your screen. Have fun putting someone you know onto paper money. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching. <laughs>